Hello there and welcome to this ClickSense tutorial and in this video we will going to look at the skew statistical function which basically quantifies the skewness in the data. So those who work in a statistical pair or the statistical data analysis they basically require a need or they have a need to quantify the skewness in the data. And uh, that is basically related to how positively left uh, or negatively data is skewed. And they can basically interpret the data based on the output that they are getting. So in this video, we will going to look at how we can implement the skew function within ClickSense. So for that, I have this simple data set where we have uh, observation and comparison. Uh, and observation and comparison is covered under type since it is a cross table so they are under type and value is basically this entire value and uh, we want to just understand the let's say skewness in both observation and comparison so let's go ahead and uh, create the script function first of all and for that we will going to say skew1 and once we have the skew1 we can start writing the load statement which is uh, load type type is again from here which is having the value observation and comparison comma then you have skew function within skew you have to give the value the value is nothing but these two value which are separated by pipe and then you have uh, you need to give the name as uh, data underscore skewness or whatever meaningful name you want to give based on the analysis that you are doing then resident resident is to refer this particular table since we are picking up these two columns and then resident uh, table one group by um, type type is this type because this is a dimension over which we will going to get the skewness in both the values which is observation and comparison and let's hit save let's load the data close it come to analysis and over here we let's take table add the dimension which is type and add one more dimension which we calculated is data skewness that's the output we get from the data skewness now if you know if you are from statistics you will be able to easily interpret this uh, based on uh, what value you are getting and then uh, I will just show you that uh, how you can f calculate it in the front end by coming over here at columns coming to measure and in the expression editor you will get the same skew function but with lot of options that uh, expression set expression which is set analysis distinct all keyword total keyword and then finally the expression so we need to just provide the value over here all right let's click apply it's the same output we will going to get but at the top it shows the skewness of the entire data itself because we are doing the calculation in the front end and uh, this is a front end table so it provides the additional visibility of having the total ex expression as a total so you have seen how you can implement it in the back end and how you can you have implemented in the front end by each dimension and then the entire data you can see a uh, skewness of the entire data so that's about how you can uh, implement it and before i move uh, just a word of uh, uh, just a word on how, when to go in the back end and when to calculate in the front end so if you need to have a static table just for the information presentation perspective but you are not doing a lot of uh, you know you're not expecting a lot of uh, dynamic calculation or dynamic changes based on the selection that you are making then you can choose the the back end calculation like this one we have done in the script or if there is a requirement where you need to implement some dynamic features some more uh, features like set analysis or a couple of keywords that we have seen along with its impact based on the selection that you are making then in that case you can 
or you should implement in the front end in the back end if you will implement you will have an optimization because Cal click engine will not have to do the evaluation of expression again and again based on the selection or based on the other behavior that you are having or interaction that uh, end user is having with the dashboard uh, so that's that's sort of uh, trade-off that you need to make between the calculation in the back end and calculation in the front end so that's about it in this uh, video and i'll meet you in the new video the new topic